Hey guys, Eric here with Fast Slow Motion, joined today by Steve White, one of our project leaders, Joe Desario, one of our senior consultants, and our number one client um, has been with us since 2014, Billy Clonch with Brimley Mountain Fire Apparatus. Billy is the VP of Sales and Marketing there. Billy, you've been with us since 2014. What was happening at BMFA around that time that made you think maybe you could use some help with Salesforce? In 2014, I had no idea what was happening, and that's why I needed help with Salesforce. So the short of it was, Eric, uh, thanks for asking. First of all, we have a company that my best friend started in 2001, buying, refurbishing, and reselling used fire trucks. So we had been running this company for 12-ish years, I guess, at uh, the point we ended up making the shift to Salesforce and had grown it really on the cheap, so to speak, from a systems standpoint. A few reasons for that. Uh, the, the main one being probably that we had no template or guidebook for growing a used fire truck dealership. I searched Barnes and Noble and Amazon and found no books that told us how to do that or what systems are best used to do that. So we ended up uh, 12 years into the business with a CRM based in ACT uh, installed on a local server with QuickBooks installed on a local server with a shop operation software installed on a local server and with uh, an old C++ website on a different server. And then like 500 Excel sheets. And despite probably only having 25 or 30 employees at the time, it was really kind of a nightmare scenario of information management. So uh, the founder of our company, James Wessel, and I both felt strongly that it was time to invest in the business and invest in our systems. So James graciously granted me a reprieve from buying and selling fire trucks, uh, which when you're running a used car lot and you're in charge of buying and selling, um, stepping out of that is a big decision. So mm -hmm. that was a big deal for us. And we researched at the time several systems to try to find the best solution. Th those included some dealer, uh, auto dealer off the shelf software packages. We looked at some uh, SAP package and Oracle package. Microsoft Business Analytics, I think was the name of theirs at the time, along with a couple others at auto dealers here in our city, and ultimately ended up deciding uh, to move forward with Salesforce. The Brindley story is just fascinating uh, to me. You guys went from one fire truck, uh, that first transaction, now you are the largest fire truck dealer in the world. Uh, Steve, we've been working alongside Brindley for several years now. We've done a ton of cool things uh, uh, alongside the guys over there. Walk us through uh, some of the things that we've uh, delivered uh, with Brindley. Let's talk about it because there's there's been some fun, crazy ideas that you know either you guys have come up with or we've come up with and said, you know, what about we do this? And so, you know, uh, you guys moving on to accounting seat and doing all of your accounting in Salesforce now, which also manages all of your services and shop and, and refurbs and all of that. Um, moving your entire website into Salesforce. And now, you know, you're running, was it four websites, you know, out of Salesforce with real time data and real time, you know, activity tracking. Um, your fire truck finder, you know, being able to notify someone within, you know, a few hours of a, a truck that's coming on the market that matches what they've been looking for. And you guys can respond and, and work through that fairly quickly. So. I know we've had a lot of fun ideas around all of that, but you know, what kind of value has that really brought to you guys? Yeah, great question, Steve. Probably the biggest value Salesforce brought to us was giving us the authoritative storage location for each single piece of information and being able to minimize duplication of that information. So that's a little abstract and ambiguous, but basically, everybody knowing where the length of the fire truck is stored was so valuable. And so taking that and multiplying it times 
roughly 500, which is about the different pieces of info we track on a fire truck, gave us the foundation to scale. So I mentioned before we had maybe 25 or 30 employees when we launched Salesforce and me as the sales manager, I think I had like, I don't know, three employees in sales or something at the time. And I was going crazy trying to manage them because it, I, I don't even see how you man, like you just ask somebody, so how's it going? What do you do? Well, that's a terrible way to manage people, right? So I had no data, I had no visibility into what was going on. So fast forward to today, thanks to that foundation Salesforce gave us, we're roughly 30 people in sales, but I've got all the data. I could manage 30, I could manage 60, I could manage 100. We have the foundation, we have the scalability. So Billy, there are a lot of companies out there looking, you know, with really intense growth trajectories, growth targets, uh, wanting to scale their business. What would you share about working with a Salesforce implementation partner and specifically about working with the team at FSM? Yeah, great question. Like you mentioned, we started working with John at FSM in mid 2014. I interviewed three separate implementation consultants before selecting John and Fast Slow Motion. The other two were professional. They were, um, they were certainly capable and had the technical knowledge in Salesforce. I would say the addition that John added in that first year and that Fast Slow Motion has added each year since then is not just the technical knowledge of Salesforce, which is important, but it's probably less important than a thorough understanding of our business, what it is we're trying to do. So Fast Slow Motion has acted in effect as not only a software implementation consultant, which can be a pretty rigid and niche role in a business, but as a business consultant, as a strategy partner, as an idea generation partner that's helped us grow our business in directions that we had not thought of before. Uh, Steve or Joe, any final things to add? I'm excited to see what we've done. You know, I know that you guys are now running, you know, uh, four plus businesses with, within the same Salesforce instance now um, and, and taking on those additional roles and, and all of that has been exciting, but, you know, excited to see what those next ideas that you guys come up with are that we can partner with you and, and help to take it to the, even the next level. Yeah, I'll just add that it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun working through the challenges of Brindley and uh, it, it, I'm excited to see what's next. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. We have a lot of ideas. We're, uh, we're probably heavy on ideas and not much on strategy in buying and selling fire trucks. We're always just happy if we pay the bills this month, you know, and so we'll give it a shot again next month. But um, I would say for any business owner without having visibility into the quantified activities of everything happening at your business, you're, you have no way to effectively manage it. You can certainly align incentives as best as possible with your employees, with your partners, and then trust that those aligned incentives will get you the results that you want as the owner or as the investors. But there's just simply no way to quantify and manage a business and strategy without seeing it. And in my experience, in my opinion, the easiest and best way to get that done is with Salesforce. The Fast Slow Motion team, you guys have been critical to that. Brindley simply would not, I think we'd still be in business today probably if it wasn't for you guys, but it wouldn't be anywhere near the company that it is. We would not have made the acquisitions we've made over the past few years without Salesforce and Fast Slow Motion. Simply hands down, wouldn't have happened. Um, I likely would have quit a long time ago. Like just, I, I, I just have to have that data organized and managed. Um, in fact, so much to the point that I actually have a personal Salesforce license, different org, Steve, but that's how I run my personal life. Like I have opportunities and projects and that's just how we organize information. I honestly don't see how anyone else does it any other way. That's great, Billy. How can people learn more about Brindley Mountain? Well, 
Uh, the best thing you could do would be to buy a used fire truck from me. So you can go to www.firetruckmall.com and send an inquiry. We'll be happy to sell you a used fire truck. You can read about our history on the website. You can follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, all the normal channels. But uh, yeah, go to our website, drop us a message. I'm glad to talk with anyone about business management, ownership, and uh, data management when it comes to their systems. It's fascinating to me. And for a guy who I always like to organize stuff, I like finding a mess and then kind of putting stuff in its place. Salesforce was simply the tool that gave me the ability to do that.